Hello Year 3, it is Miss Wilkinson again. We are going to do another history lesson this morning uh, based on ancient Egypt. Your key question today is why did the Egyptians build the pyramids? Now you already might have some ideas um, about that because we have touched on it and you may have done your own research. Your learning objective today is to use evidence and draw conclusions about the reasons for the pyramids being built. So looking at pi uh, pictures, uh, finding facts that tell us why they were built. These pictures here are of uh, something called the Sphinx. It's the same image, just from a different, different angle, so you could see it. Um, now, the Sphinx is the body of a lion and the head of a pharaoh. Now, I've highlighted pharaoh there. Um, we know that the pharaoh is, was a king in ancient Egyptian times. Um, now, the Sphinx in ancient Egypt um, could be associated with the sun god and the, the strength represented the pharaoh's power. Sometimes Sphinxes were combined with other animals so it could have the head of a hawk which is a bird to symbolize different gods um, and the sphinx is said to have asked people riddles and if you couldn't answer the riddle it would you you would be eaten um, so I want to know though why was the sphinx built um, that is one of your questions today that you're going to research. I have popped a website underneath there. The website will also be on Teams and that's a direct link to where you can find some evidence that the Sphinx, as to why the Sphinx, the Sphinx was built. These two pictures that I've put on here, um, were well, from the inside of a pyramid and these are these images are hieroglyphics um, which was writing in ancient Egypt and these would be used to tell the achievements and adventures of pharaohs um, and the hieroglyphics are why we know so much about ancient civilization so what might the hieroglyphics written on the walls say if it's about achievements and adventures of pharaohs? And again, why are they on there? Why are they written inside of the pyramids? This is a drawing of what you would see inside of a pyramid. This is... Um, the inside of the pyramid of someone called Tutankhamun, which we are going to discover a little bit more about in our next lesson. Now you can see lots of different rooms and um, there's a staircase down here and it's showing people inside of it still building the pyramid. Um, have a look closely at some of the things inside. You may want to pause the video and see if you can figure out what anything is um, and see if you can spot a royal burial chamber, what could that mean? Here are another two questions I want you to think about. Now, again, I've given you places to go and research and find out. Um, what would you find inside of a pyramid? So here are some images. These are extremely interesting. Um, they are called canopic jars. If you have not already researched them, I really suggest you do. Um, and why were these things inside? So what are these here? And why were they inside of the pyramid? What is this material here? And as I say, what are inside of these jars? Finally, um, I want to know, I want you to research and find me evidence on how the pyramids were built. Um, there are video clips that explain it brilliantly here that I'm, I'm going to put the links on if you go over to Teams. 
and you just need to follow the links and watch the videos. So your tasks for this history lesson. Task one, based on what we've just looked at, so go back and have another look if you like, I want you to predict why the pyramids were built. So your first job is to make a prediction. Task two is to research and conclude why they were built. So was your prediction correct? Pull, a crop, pull apart some evidence, um, of uh, pick some pictures of what were in there um, and tell me why the pyramids were built. This slide will be on Teams with live links on them. Here are the questions that I've done throughout. So why was the Sphinx built? And uh, why might the hieroglyph, what might the hieroglyphics on the wall say? What would you find inside a pyramid? And why were they inside? And how were the pyramids built? So have a little go first at predicting the answers to these questions. Then go onto the links and do a little bit of research. See if you can find out. Uh, this is just an example of one of the pages that you you could come up you will come across. So what might the hieroglyphics written on the wall say? This is the screen that will come up. There is a bar down the bottom here that you can go up and down to read more information. You must read the information and watch videos on these websites um, and look for keywords within the question. The keyword in this question is hieroglyphics. We need to look for that word within the text. As you can see, I have found it here. So I know that this is the paragraph that I need to look at and see if I can find any of that information. So good luck year three and I look forward to reading your work.